As you know, we had Samantha McLean stop by here some months ago. She's the editor of this wonderful magazine, Elite Agent. And if you're not getting it, make sure you subscribe to it. But what I wanted to share with you today is I get the column to write each bi-monthly, the Ask the Coach. And I thought one of the questions that came up was from Tristan Cavara at Dunshays in Ingleburn. He wrote, Claudio, is there anything I could do to improve my business between now and the end of the year? Here's the thing I would do, right? First off is do a gut check on your business, right? And if you wanted to be a $1 million writer, what would the $1 million writer gut check look like for you? First off, rate yourself and scale from one to 10. Number 10 meaning you're a pro. Number one, you're an amateur. Habits, rate yourself. Where are you right now? If you're gonna crush it between now and the end of the year to reach Christmas, where is your habits right now? If it's a four, how can you move it to maybe a seven or an eight? The next one, which is super, super important, is your skills and conversion. Scale yourself right now, Tristan. Where are you in terms of your conversion? Listing presentation, connections to appointments, where do you need to be? If you're a five or a six, how do you get it to an eight or a nine, okay? Your marketing, do you have a marketing plan between now and the end of the year? Do you give yourself the gut check around what that looks like? The other one is business systems. And there's three parts. Outside sales, which is your business development area, right, farm area or patch. What do you have going there at the moment? Your inside sales, which is your database, past clients, past MAs, networks, referrals. You know what I'm talking about, that's your inside sales. People that know who you are, know what you do and what your offer is. And then your third part of your business system is circle sales. Hot spotting, right? We've all heard the terminology. If you ain't doing it, you don't know it. So you need to know you've got an eight-week touch point plan happening around your business systems with circle sales. Then scale yourself and do that gut check around your psychology right now. I don't know about you, but I'm talking to a lot of agents across the country right now, between Australia and New Zealand. And one thing I'm hearing is, I feel like I'm really tired right now, Claudia. I feel like I'm not motivated right now. Here's the thing, you know what? You need to have a bit of a vision and check in with yourself of where you're going right now. Because we've all heard it, it's 80% is the mindset and 20% is the mechanics, right? Tony Robbins says it and preaches it all the time. But here's the thing, if you're making calls and you're not getting results and you don't have a belief right now, it's worthless. Do you know what I mean? Worthless, meaning that you're not doing it with the right intention and the right intensity. So what you've got to be thinking about right now is where is your psychology? How can you change it? I would say is, reach into your vision, into your intuition, your higher being of yourself. I'm not sure, You've, you may have seen a good video with Phil Allison recently, and he talks about, you know, the Matthew McConaughey, like who do you look up to? And Matthew McConaughey, in that great acceptance speech at the Oscars a couple of years ago, he said who he looks up to is, when he was 15, he looked at himself when he was 25. That's who he looked up to. When he was 25, he looked at himself as 35. There is a higher being in ourselves. That's what sometimes pulls us back in track. So look at your psychology. Scale yourself right now one to 10 with your gut check around your listing presentation. If you're not converting 80% or more right now, you need to have a look at your listing presentation, do a role play in front of someone, record yourself, go back, analyze it, review it. What are the things that you need to improve in your listing presentation? And finally, write down some business plan numbers and goals that you want to achieve between now and the 25th of December. Because one thing I do know is when you haven't got momentum and traction, if you just keep working, you've got a goal to work towards, you just keep moving forward. And then you feel like you've got some sort of sense of achievement, you're making progress and you're moving forward. So, Tristan, I hope that has answered your question. If you want to send me a question, it's claudio at claudioencina.com and we'll make sure that we publish it in the next issue of Elite Agent Magazine.